Pettit takes aim at University of Florida for animal experiments. On the busy intersection of Southwest 13th Street and West University Avenue sits a display organized by the national organization PETA calling out universities for experiments where animals are harmed. The exhibit, called Without Consent, is made up of a 24-panel display that will run through Sunday, showing roughly 200 experiments where cats, rabbits, monkeys and other animals were test subjects at U.S. institutions for more than 100 years. The University of Florida is not exempt from the experiments conducted on animals. In fact, it is PETA's target. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. In 2020, university experimenters reported cutting open cats' necks and chests as the animals were forced to inhale carbon dioxide, causing brain damage. Reports shows that UF researchers have previously forced rats to inhale smoke from 72 cigarettes before inducing withdrawal symptoms. In other instances, researchers injected viruses into the skulls of mice before decapitating them. PETA hopes the images will force UF to rethink the harsh and archaic use of animal testing, but university officials deny any unethical experiments. Response from UF the University of Florida is committed to the ethical use of animals in its pursuit of medical advances that benefit both humans and animals, UF spokeswoman Hesse Fernandez said in a statement. Almost every drug, treatment, medical device, diagnostic tool or cure we have today was developed with the help of laboratory animals. Fernandez went on to say that UF is governed by a federally mandated institutional animal care and use committee that reviews all requests for approval to use vertebrate animals and inspects all areas where animals are housed and used. Additionally, the university's animal care and use program is fully accredited by a nonprofit that promotes the humane treatment of animals in science. Full accreditation serves as a testament to our program's commitment to quality and humane animal care, rigorous research practices, and continuous improvement, Fernandez said. PETA's focus on UF. PETA reports that about 110 million animals are killed every year in U.S. laboratories. And Gainesville has been on PETA's radar for animal experimentation for 15 years since they have heard about university's practices, said Alka Chandna, the vice president of laboratory investigations for PETA. Students strolling around campus couldn't help but notice the displays, often showing confusion or repugnance. Sophia Zingarella, a junior at the university, said she was disgusted when she looked at the horrific images. The pictures took her back to a time when she was younger, remembering how she heard about animal testing and how many companies were starting to move away from the practice. There are obviously still companies that do it, she said. But why should they be subjected to being tortured if we are not? That's the idea of the exhibit. Without consent was intended to make people aware that animals don't have the ability to consent to the experiments, Chandna said. Yet they are used in experiments that are painful, that cause suffering, and 99.99% of the time end in the animal being killed, she added. Chandna acknowledged that researchers at UF do important work, but often people don't know about the dark side of science. Students walk around the UF's campus every day and have no idea what's going on behind the walls of some of the buildings they casually pass, Chandna said. We are here to pull back the curtain, to let them know what is going on, she said. Thank you.